first film I had both my parents. Unfortunately, my mom passed away in between the two films. And uh, I, my parents are both actors, and I've always admired them on stage when I was a kid. I mean, they were actors before I was born. And basically, to me, it's kind of like when I wrote Two Days in Paris, I kind of wanted to give them that part because I knew they were going to be really funny, really, you know, they're really good actors, really good theater actors, and sometimes really good theater actors don't get the chance to have really good film parts. And I just felt it was a good occasion to give him something, you know, fun to do. So. It was kind of like, it came organically to me to write it for them. And it's kind of fun to write for, pe for, for people you know. It being the girl playing my sister, who's actually a friend of mine. Uh, Alex Naon, who plays the annoying Manu, <laughs> who's also a friend of mine. And, uh, and then after that, to, to, to write for you know, Adam Goldberg, who's a friend of mine. So, you know, I mean, basically most of the people in movies, in those movies, are friends of mine. So it's kind of fun to write for people you know. And sometimes it's complicated, you know, to direct your dad is not always easy. My dad is, is a person like, you know, you have to handle him. It's, he's a lot of fun, but he's also, he has a lot of personality. He's like, <laughs> doesn't let me boss him around that easily, so. What am I trying to say about family um, and relationships? I'm trying to say <laughs> that relationships are not easy and they're subject to a lot of like s difficult moments, which could be in the moment you're living them, very dramatic, but then when you step back, it can be kind of funny. I mean, I, I think of that scene with uh, when I come back from Gallo moment, <laughs> and uh, he's asking me because he's worried, jealous, angry, you know, that I disappeared. And it's a very funny scene, but both the way we played it is like first, you know, like, I'm crying, he's very upset, you know, it's totally, but it's very funny because I'm crying and he's very upset, you know what I mean? We're not playing it comedic at all. I mean, the film could be a drama, really, if you, if you wanted, you know? So it depends what view you have on situations, you know? What if there is a soul? Well, I hope there is one, but I don't, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not, um, you know, I would say I'm a, what's the word, atheist? Like 80% of my French compatriots. Um, but, um, but at the same time, I have uh, questions about the soul. Actually, the whole soul thing came about when I started thinking about, like, I was on the internet, I mean, I was on eBay buying some something. I can't remember what, but I buy stuff on eBay. And, um, and suddenly I was like, okay, what could I sell that doesn't mean much to me but would mean for other people? Nothing cannot be put into money it seems, <laughs> unfortunately. So, so why not have this conceptual idea of selling the soul? You know, I thought it was a fun idea. And then I thought of Marion, and I thought Marion is too neurotic to sell her soul because I felt like the minute she's gonna sell her soul, she's gonna freak out and <laughs> want it back. And then it's gonna end up in Vincent Gallo's underwear. <laughs> How much of Marion is you? You know, I, I kind of like to create characters that could be me but are not me, and it seems like it's me, but it's really not me. Like Marion is a little bit, you know, she's confused. She's she's not really sure what she wants in life. She's not, you know, totally grounded. And I feel I'm not like that. Like I feel I'm pretty grounded. I'm pretty. I pr I know very much what I want in life. You know, I've reached that level in my life where I actually do know what I want to do in my with my life. And Marion is a little bit more crazy. Like it's kind of like an alter ego, kind of like it. It could be me, but it's not me in the end, you know, deeply, it's not me at all. So, um, you know, I have a few things in the film that are related to me personally, but actually the whole film itself is not autobiographical. I've never had those experience. I mean, I know people that are like that, like I know, like I know 20 menus, for example. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, at least, and, uh, <laughs> But I don't really have this situation in my life. I'm not like remarried to someone with another kid. I mean, like there's lots of things that are very, very different. So, but I like to take a little bit of truth and turn it into something totally fictional. You know, it's fun to, so, so it rings more true, you know, in a way, because the core of it, the, the first seed is actually true. So, but, uh, well, thank you for being here.